It's only a baby one, mate, it's a small one. I don't care how big it is, you can't fly that drone over this hospital. It's high secure hospital. But from above, it'll look pretty good, that's what I'm trying to... I don't care what it looks like, you're not flying the drone over the hospital. Do you want me to show you, man? How far? I can show you wherever you like. Oh. I, I, I've taken yeah. your drone anywhere else today. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. So today we're here outside this place, Upper Broadmoor Road. Look at this place then. Yeah, Broadmoor Secure Hospital for mentally ill patients who have committed criminal acts and they need locking up, basically. Basically a prison. I'm pretty sure all the same rules and secure facilities apply. Look at this camera though. Look at the color on there. <laughs> yeah, Broadmoor Secure Hospital. And to be honest, I can see more cameras than a, than a regular prisons have outside. It's very quiet around here. Deathly quiet. Look at that. Maybe it's closed. I'll still take the drone over anyway. And it's part of the prison by the look of it because you've got the secure fencing going straight round to it. So I'm not sure whether what we just seen was perhaps an old entrance and then now main entrance is what they use. It looks a bit more favourite though because the car park here is full and it seems to me they've got a more modern part of the place up here with uh, see-through barbed wire fencing, as opposed to a wall. And it's definitely part of the prison, but I'm not sure whether that part over there is separate. What a place to be in. but it's not barbed wire, this fence. It's impossible to climb, but it's not barbed wire. But it looks like we can walk in here. Look at this. It's almost like a little museum place. Cameras everywhere. That must be a secure entrance there. Welcome to Broadmoor. Staff search, visitor search. So that must be the part where it becomes secure there. Is that the secure entrance? Is that the secure entrance there? Yeah, that's the security entrance. Yeah, I'll go and ask. Yeah. Ah. Hmm. 
Mm. Everyone's very relaxed here, aren't they? Can you turn all that off, please? All leave the premises. Sorry? You're not allowed to film or have any cameras in the premises. I've came to do a video today, yeah? Sorry? I've, I've came to do a video, I can't turn it off. Of who? Of the prison. Okay, well, the hospital. We're not a prison and you need to leave. The hospital, you know what I mean. this is on. Okay. So if you don't mind leaving, or turn it all off, please. No, I'm going I'm to go out there and do my video, I'm not doing it here. Yeah, but if you, at the moment, yeah. you need to be outside the hospital. You've got that in the hospital with the cameras, please. What I'm saying is, I'm letting you know what I'm doing. I'm going to go back out and do it. Okay. No point turning it off and turning it back on, is there? Okay. You, yeah. That's fine. Um, flying the drone here, it's allowed, isn't it? It's fine. I think it's okay. No drones. You sure? Not over the hospital, no. Let me just check, because that's what I came to do today, do a little aerial shot of the okay. place. Um, you won't be flying the drone over the hospital. Let me have a look. Yeah, it's fine, buddy. Yeah, it's fine. I checked. Okay. Who can hear me? Uh, the drone's fine. I checked. I just checked. You can't fly your drone over this hospital. It's only a baby one, mate. It's a small one. I don't care how big it is. You can't fly that drone over this hospital. Why not? You don't, you're not allowed to do it, mate. Simple as that. It's a high secure hospital. I know what it is, mate. Yeah, yeah. You can't fly your drone over this hospital. But from above, it'll look pretty good. That's what I'm trying to... I don't care what it looks like. You're not flying the drone over the hospital. It's not allowed. It is allowed, I'm afraid. Do you work here, do you? Do you... Have you got the... Um, the law? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want me to wait out there or wait in here? Wait out there if you don't mind. No problem, yeah, of course. There he is, Mr. No Drone. And there, look at that camera they've got there. You right? Yeah, good thing. Yeah. Busy today? Somewhat. Is it? Yeah, we just tried to fly the drone and uh, basically it's fine. But I can see on the map, there's an unhighlighted line around here. And from experience, that'll be a geo zone. So it won't kick in until, until basically you try and fly across the perimeter wall and then it will presumably stop you. Like an army barracks, for example. But I've got a camera on us here. And check this fence out they've got non-barbed wire this one but you ain't getting staff lockers here very secure lockers in there isn't it oh. you alright mate? Yeah, okay. yeah good thanks A double camera on us now both of those cameras on me And another one up there.
main gate amber light flashing oh the office right there how did I not see any of this wonder what's in there what's in there people no Have a quick look in there while we can. More cameras over that side. You're not big enough to block the door, my friend. Let's see if we can zoom into that screen at the back of that. No, not quite. Hmm, this, this girl's closing the blinds on us. See if we can zoom into that screen there. Oscar 5. Rollings 4692. There we go. It's so quite a big place. Wow, what a place from above that looks. In the middle of nowhere. And then the old facility. Damn, look at that. Not sure whether the geozone would be over that one or not. What a menacing looking place. Bet that was horrible being in that part of it back in the day. I mean, look at that over there. Ancient that is ancient is that a secure garden they've got at the back looks pretty good above this mate I think it may be a secure garden. Got the little gap looking between the perimeter wall and the fence. Sports playing field they've got, court. <clears throat> oh, 
we come down a little bit. can see clearly now, can't we? Wonder what they're going to use it for? Quite interesting looking at this place. We haven't even got to the main uh, new part yet. Brand new court. Not being used though, is it? Nothing is being used at the minute. Cameras are on me as well outside this place. Gardens. Coming around to the main entrance now. Oh, is that security officer coming out maybe? See, we don't need to go any closer than that, do we? <laughs> it all looks very new in there. Right. Just flying over, mate, don't worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> looks pretty good above. <laughs> I thought you were filming. <laughs> I am, but I'm... I'm but, but yeah. <laughs> well, I've got the drone over at the minute, so I've just been nosy with the drone. Oh, do you work here? No, no, no. It's your drone? Yeah, yeah. No, of course not. I don't think you're allowed to do that, mate. I've just turned up and got it up. Huh? I've just turned up and got it up. Just being nosy, mate, that's all. We are doing it legally, though. We've got a perfect view here, haven't we? Don't need to go over the place. Look at that. It looks luxurious, but I'm pretty sure inside it isn't. But they have windows and not bars. So it's definitely a better place to be than a regular prison. So if you, if you commit murder and you can prove you're uh, committed it under insanity, and that kind of thing, then the judge will give you a hospital order. And they're usually indefinite. They have to be reviewed by, you know, trained professionals and maybe the court, I'm not sure. Look at that. Gonna go a bit higher to keep line of sight now. To be fair, we don't need to go around there anyway. It seems that the ground drops away though. 
around there. It's a big place from above, isn't it, mate? Are you flying a drone? Yeah. Yeah, can you uh, refrain from doing it? You're not allowed to. Yeah, I'm fine, mate. Not it's over there right now, mate. Oh, well, you will be to the no, sorry. Don't worry about me, mate. Well, you want confrontation, don't you? I know what you're not. I said, don't worry about me. Yeah, I, I, I could see you keep looking up and saying, don't worry about me. Yeah, but you're not after confrontation. I didn't even start talking to you. You kept looking back, mate. So I'm just checking you're okay. Yeah. You have a nice day, mate. Uh, video. Photos are done, don't have a lot of battery left on this flight, so we'll have a quick nosy here and then we'll go. Get the, sorry, get the drone down rather. No police yet, but I'm sure they're on their way. But what an area to have it look. Proper uh, secluded. Are they solar panels there? What are they? No. Or are they? I don't think they are. Yes. They are indeed. Don't mind me, mate. <laughs> I'm just flying over the hospital. Your colleague here? Oh, yeah. Your colleague here, the one that I spoke to before? Yeah. Is he here? Alright, mate, alright. You alright? Can I help at all? Yeah, I spoke to a guy before about a drone and he said security guy would come and talk to me. No one came. So, okay. I've gone. So, I'm going to be out shortly, but if I can ask you just to leave the premises, though. I can wait out there, just how long are they going to be? Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I would recommend that you wouldn't fly around here. Well, I've, I've done one flight. I've changed the battery, I want to go up again, but I don't. If you yeah, guys want to talk, I'll, my, I'd rather wait. Yeah, my recommendation is that we wouldn't ask you to fly around here. I've got to do it, mate. Um, but if you can leave the premises... Yeah, yeah. But how long is it going to be? I've waited 20 minutes. I'm not 100% sure, but if I can ask you to leave, someone will be with you shortly. How long? Someone will be with you shortly. Call the police, yeah? You'll have to see. But if I can ask you to leave, <laughs> there he is. that'd be awesome. There he is, that guy there. Okay. But can I ask you to leave the building, though, please? Of course. Okay, thank you. But if no one's coming out, I'm gonna, I'll take it up again now, yeah? Can I just ask you to leave the building? You're repeating yourself, mate. Yeah, and, but I've asked you to leave private premises. Yeah. And if I can ask you to leave the building... I'm doing an, an act outside which requires somebody to talk to me, perhaps. Okay, but if you go outside, then somebody may come... I'm waiting five you minutes. If I can ask you to leave yeah, I'm going to wait five minutes, and if, it, if they don't come, I'm going to go up again. Can All I right. ask you to leave the Mate, you keep repeating yourself. It's going to delay, delay me leaving, all right? Look at flipping broken tape, mate. Do you know how long you'll be? The security. Oh, oh. 
Yeah, they haven't got uh, security at all. I'm not silly, I know exactly what he was saying. He's saying basically, you wait around here, the police are on their way, that's what he means. That's exactly what he means. So, this camera's following me. Probably from when the police arrive, they can say he's down there. Just wondering what this place here is. What's this building for, mate? Huh? What's the building for? Uh, it's the energy centre. Oh. For the, for the hospital? Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. How come they get so funny up there with filming? Right. How come they get so funny with filming at the top? Right. They were mad. <laughs> it's like a, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How long has the old one been closed for, do you know? Um, long time? December 2019. Oh, right. fair, fair amount of time then. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Quite a while. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what they're going to do with it? They're going to build on it or they're going to knock it down or? Uh, flogging it. Are they? Yeah. Is it a listed building or something? Yeah. Ah, right. Looks it, yeah. All right, mate. I don't know what they're going to do with it. <laughs> Cheers, man. So that's the energy centre for the hospital there, look. And that camera there is following me. Long old walk that, yeah? <laughs> huh. She's not very friendly, is she? Right, let's check some ridges out. And then we'll go. We'll walk back past the old, uh, the old one. Well, this car's got no registration on it at all. Oh dear. That's been ripped off that, hasn't it? Look at that. I hope it hasn't been ripped off today because I'll, get, I'll be getting the blame for that. Check the back reg. Yeah, the back reg is on, but it is illegal. <laughs> and your side windows are, are illegal. Like mine were. Oh dear. And that tyre looks pretty illegal to me, look. I would say that tyre is illegal. Yep, I would say definitely it is. I might hang around for the police to arrive. <laughs> no. But he's got no registration on his car, one bold tyre and illegal window tints. Illegal window tints, three points. Not always, but you can get three points for it. 
driving a vehicle in a dangerous condition it's clutched us i know because i had a ticket for that no i had it threatened to me sorry didn't get the three points luckily three points on the tire and the registration is a fine so not good is it rough have we got another one here no bs standard and no postcode on there oh, automatic windows there look wonder why they opening they've all opened up look all the way around All right. How's things? Are you the person coming to talk? Yes, my name's John. How are you? I'm God, the you took, training lead. Can I shake your hand? You took a while, mate. That's all right. How's things, man? Yeah, good. Good. Do you want me to show you around? Is that a staff car park? Yes. Uh, Do you want me to show you around? How far? I can show you wherever you like. Can I go in? Can't go in, but you can go <laughs> and have a look around. It's up to you. If you're interested. Why? Why would you do that? So, the reason this, mate, because it's public land, you're allowed to film. No law against it, you know that. Um, actually, we like the welcome side of things. We're not like people that we like to be like, no, you can't film here, you can't film there. Lots like to be welcoming to everyone. So. But they've been nothing but. As in, no, sorry, they've been opposite. Have they? Yeah. Okay. Obviously, Pub in there, it's a little bit different, but public wise, here, come on, what, any history you'd like to talk about? Do you want me to give you a bit of history? Yeah. So, Broadmoor here. So this is 1863. Yeah. You can go right up to the fence and you can have a look at the old site if you want. And you can come back here. I've been over there just now. Have you? Yeah. So the old but entrance building. It's pretty cool from above that one. I've got the drone up already. Yeah. I did a little view of it. It's pretty... DJI? Yes. Yes. I used to have the FP3. Okay. Um, good make. But with that one, that's the old site. So 1863. And in 2019, we went to this site here. Have you been to the front of that one? That's where I came in that way. Oh, yeah. wicked. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so that one there you've just seen, yeah, 2019 we moved. And this is our new site, Baldwin Hospital. This is the newest entrance building. So it's one right. way in, one way out. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot more beneficial, a lot more newer. So it's more better for us. As you can probably see, the reason why we moved from that site to this site is, again, not very appropriate for our patients now. So it's a lot Was more it run down? Was it inside? Yeah, I think as you can see here, Berkshire House, quite the roof, um, obviously a few leaks and all that stuff. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't safe. So I think they kind of decided we need a new hospital. Right. The new site is a lot more appropriate, beneficial for our patients, staff as well, more safer, and I think it kind of helps us out with kind of because we've got two objectives: protect the public and providing treatment and care for our patients. So you know for facts that our new site, we've got a lot more practical um, aspects for helping our patients out. We've got a lot of activities as well. So you've got kitchen, you've got OT, you've got a lot of good stuff. Um, with staff, it's a, bit, it's a lot more safer for us to kind of manage our patients. Right. So you know Ashworth and Rampton as well, don't you? I've heard of it. Yeah, so you've got high secure hospitals, you've got three. Broadmoor Hospital, one of them. Where There's only three? Yes. Right. Ashworth and then Rampton. One's in Liverpool way? Yep, near that yeah. way. Yep, and then obviously you've got this one. So, yeah, so that's just a little bit of history. Plus, again, I told that again you was around the area, but I'm not going to waste your time or bother you. I thought I'd come and say hello. So how come in there? They were so, like... Probably because we don't... We're not used to people being filmed. We're not right. used to it. So... Um, it was the drone, really. They went mad over. Do you, do you understand probably why we would be a little bit worried? Not, not like you can't, you don't have to, obviously we can't stop you, but do you know why we'd probably be worried? Well, you've got your obvious reasons, but when, when, when he starts coming out with, you're not doing it, you can't do it, it's illegal, it's a bit over the we top, mate. We can't stop you, we can't stop you. I, I think it's geozoned on your fence. Pardon? I think it's possibly geozoned on your actual perimeter. Have you got the app? Yeah. Um, what is it? There's a couple of people that when they fly drones, what app yeah. are you using at the moment? I use Drone Assist, mate, I do. Can have a look, is that right? See which yeah. one you've got. Um, How's your journey getting here? Did you drive or...? Yeah, it's not far for oh. me. Let's have a look. Oh God, I can't even see that. So actually, you can educate me a little bit. So, so what does this mean, the yellow part? So red, you can't fly, right? Yeah. So that, I understand why. That's an airport. That's airport way. And what does the amber colour mean? But there, you've got... So the hospital's got a yellow one around it. Yep, I can see that. In, inside another yellow one. Yep. Yellow's normally fine, but the thing is, if you... Let me turn the, the screen up a bit for you. Cheers, thank you. I don't know if it'll help. There we go. Oh, there you go, perfect. 
if you click on it, can you... Oh, oh wow, yeah, yeah. No, no, but the, a black one appears around the outside of it. Yeah. Hold on. There. Do you see it yeah, flash for yeah, a second? I'd, yeah, totally. Yeah. At MOD sites it does that, and it's GeoZone. So I'm okay. presuming it's the same here. Yeah. That if a drone actually crossed the actual line of it, it yeah. would stop the drone. Yeah. I think. Yeah, it's technology. So I didn't go over, I stayed here. Appreciate that as well. And I know that you were waiting here to keep me here. No, actually. You were? Um, I was actually, I didn't know the police can tell, they can't do nothing, but I was just came down here to actually just check up on my car. I, I, I think, when I went in there, first time they said, we're going to get somebody to come and talk to you. Yeah. No one came, went back in, and I said, where are they? Yeah. Oh, they're coming. Okay. I know for a fact, they were trying to keep me in the area for the police to arrive. Yeah. And I, I feel like you've came out really friendly, yeah, offering the main, to keep me here. No, that's what I, I think. Of course, you know that I wouldn't stop you from going anywhere. I said you're free no, to No, 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 but I, I believe you came out yeah. really friendly and offered to take me around, mostly to keep me here for the police. No, that's what police I think. Uh, no, I, if you're your security manager, no, so I'm the security training lead. Okay, so yeah. I'm I, John, by I, the way. I believe, hi John, I believe that you knew they were coming. No, I didn't. Yeah. Um, I'm allowed You're a good actor. You no, you can ask. Okay, great stuff. Yeah. Hi guys, how are you? Afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever it is. <laughs> I think it's afternoon. It's hey, two o'clock. You you're right, mate. Thank you. Yeah. I know you're recording me already, so I'm just going to I'm recording. Oh, thanks a lot, mate. All right. Yeah. PC Edwards from Rod of OPC. Hi, hi, hand. Good to meet you, mate. Yeah. yeah. Hello. I would ask your name, but I bet you're not going to give it to me, are you? No. Exactly, thought so. Hello. You're right. You're auditing me. I'm just filming today. Not going to say auditing, but I've got a drone, I've been up. Okay, fine. Catch anything nice? Yeah, this place. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool from Lovely above. Place. It's new, yeah, new yeah. Ones, isn't it? And that one. We looked at, have you looked at the old one. Done both, yeah. Done both today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. yeah. Nice. How much have you been into the old one? Have you? Yeah, it's quite it's, it's nice. It's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting, it's isn't it? Is it interesting? Can we go in today? Can we have a look? Oh, that's not down to me. Oh. Probably, probably not. Because you can have a look. You can. I can actually take you to near the front entrance point if you want me to. Where I walked past already, would it be? What part did you walk past? Have you gone past down that way? No, not that way. You that way. You're welcome to walk down with me that way. It's just a fence, though, is it? Not near a fence. You can actually see the kitchen gardens, the old Victorian oh, kitchen right. gardens. Maybe after we spoke to these guys. Cool. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, absolutely fine. Just, just yeah, we come talk to you, see how you are, what you're. What so you're I've, I've been doing my thing. Yeah, yeah. And these guys inside have said uh, they're going to come and talk to you in a minute. Okay. And they haven't came out, right? Right. And I know that they've done I've that. Talk to you, sorry, is what talk to us. No, they've said somebody's going to come and talk to you okay. about droning, about filming, can't do it, blah blah blah. Sure, yeah. And I know that they've told me that mm -hmm. to keep me here because they know that you guys were going to come at some point. Sure. And then this guy's come out really friendly, to be fair. Nice. Off to take me round. I was a bit suspicious, and then he turned up. Forgive me if, if it's not, no, but no, I, it's I do feel like he came out to just prolong me leaving. No, 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 <laughs> no, no not at all. And I mean sure. That. You, obviously, it's hard to believe people because you probably do this job to job to job, and you see you probably have police coming along all the time. Um, it just actually, went from being so hostile to all of a sudden, no, hi, mate, me, do you want a tour? Obviously. Well, actually... <laughs> We like to do a little approach differently here. So obviously right. our, our site's management side here. And then today, the just heard that you're here, so I thought, could you come say hello? Fair enough, mate. And actually mean that. Um, You've been very nice. Here. I can't fault it. I appreciate I'm that. just not sure if it was a little bit to keep no, me here. No, 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 not exactly. <laughs> and actually, maybe it's a good thing that the police are here, because you haven't done nothing wrong. But That's it, man. here to kind of find out what's going on. Because of the location it is, yeah. we, all, we do get kind of, i say, sensitive and a little bit protective because of what it is. Same so, as a prison, essentially, in terms of security, right? Um, yeah, same kind of security here. Um, but again, it's a hospital. Yeah. Uh, but we just like to make sure everything's okay. And that's it. Yeah. Um, the last thing that we want to do is stop you from doing your job. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but also, we just want to make sure that you're okay. Can we do anything to help you out? And I think the police and your side of things making sure that the security side of things and everything's well, safe. So all we're here for, but is um, any prevention of breach of peace, etc. Oh, is it? Yeah. 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 If, there's any, if there's any chance of, I'm not saying you have, but if you was going to there and, and people have asked you to leave or whatever and you've become a bit hostile or hostile or anything like that, then we'll go, ah. okay, come on, let's, let's try and work out. That's what the report out. said then. So, well, I'm not saying it is, I'm not saying it's not. But I went in the second time and said, I've finished my drone now. Uh, you guys said oh, someone's going to come and talk to me. They haven't came. Mm -hmm. How long are they going to be? And then he just kept repeating, please leave the building. And I said, oh, I'm going, but just tell me, mm -hmm. shall I wait or shall I, can I go? Yeah, sure. And for that minute or two, he just kept repeating, please leave. And I was saying, mate, just stop repeating yourself. Just, shall I wait for your man or, or is he not coming? Sure. And in the end, I just walked out. Yeah. Obviously, this chap's also come out and have a to you anyway, so... I prolonged my, my stay. I went around the car park looking okay. for some illegal regs. Yeah, yeah. What I do at prisons and stuff, just to check that the people like yourselves are following the laws. Mm -hmm. Prison officers, police officers. Okay. I'm sure you've heard of people doing that before. Yeah, yeah, we, we, yeah, we yeah. get quite a lot of come to the police um, station as well, so we've, we're kind of used to it. Yeah, but like checking the regs and checking the tyres and stuff and just... I've never actually like, come across have that. Have you not? No. Did you never say that you've done it already? Or you're about to... So I've just been around there, the staff car park, yeah. just to prolong, because I knew you were going to come. 
Okay. Or, or you were going to come out. So I thought if I prolong my stay a little bit, if they're going to yeah. come, at least I've waited as long as I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah so did that. You specifically have to wait for us. No, I just knew that if Thank I left, you, you turn up yeah. and then it's a waste of your time. You can't talk to me. Yeah, yeah. You may have wanted to come and Im you, implement some laws that don't exist or, or you haven't, you've been fair enough, haven't you? Are you yeah. taking your drone anywhere else today? Maybe, yeah. Uh, Do you want to share? Or? No. <laughs> you don't want to share? No. Okay, cool. I don't want to give you intelligence for the day. No. Mate, I did plan to go up here again, but I'm not going to do that again now. Mate, I've, where, I've got my footage. What do you do with your day and your, your drones and your videos, etc.? Do you know the legislation around drone, drone use? I know that as well as you know that because you obviously do it day to day. All right, so we're not, we're not stupid, we're not silly. That's good, man. All right, so we've, been, we've spoken to a few people before, so Have we you? know exactly what you're about and what you're doing. So you're well within your rights of doing whatever you're doing. I just make informative yeah, videos. Yeah, of course. Here from above, it's pretty. It looks pretty good, especially that side. Yeah, that side. That side I've been to that one, and that's actually quite historical. It's actually really intriguing. Actually, with stuff yeah. inside. Is it? Um, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I really enjoyed it actually. But it's helpful. it's one of those ones that once once you understand, we have a rapport with these guys where we have been in, been able to go in and have a look around, etc. Yeah. Um, when it's peaceful. And it's, yeah, it's, they've got quite a lot of stuff in there. They've got Olympic sized swimming pools, etc. For the, for the oh, rivers. really? Yeah. That's, that's nice, isn't it? Here. No, so we don't have the swimming pool anymore. So, on the, say, the old physics centre, there used to be a massive swimming pool, what you stated, but that wasn't, that was used before even my time. So, I started in 2015. So, even before that, it wasn't used at all, really. So, it's uh -huh. probably the cleanest uh, swimming pool in Crowthorne because it was never, <laughs> it was never used. <laughs> so, but, yeah, well. obviously, I'm sure this, this chat will. Um, Take you around if you if you if you wish, and we'll show you some places, etc. Or whatever. Okay. But yeah, I'll ask him. See I what. See what. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm happy. I'll, you guys I'll, are happy. I'll, no arrests I'll, being made. God no. Why, why would we? <laughs> why <mate>. would we? <laughs> <laughs> no detainments. No. Uh, no, 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 no. Illegal you've got searches going on. No. Made, no. So you're well within your rights of doing what you're I, doing. So. I did find one car over there, mm -hmm. which is quite. Well, I feel like I may get the blame for it. Okay. The registration has been ripped off the front of it. Okay. Oh, Missing. we know about that one. Oh, you know about it. Yeah. Black car. Yeah. Yeah. So the number plate's actually in the back of the boot. Oh, so right. that is, so it's all good. So basically a car will first on the front of the car, Ooh. you'll probably see a scrape, and all the parts came off. It looks like it's been ripped back. off, yeah. Yeah, but, um, thank you for actually that, just in case we didn't know about that. So yeah, we do know about the black car. Do you know about the other things on that car? No. No? no. But you can talk to me on the journey if you like. Maybe after so, the police yeah. have gone, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Whatever he does, that information is complete. Yeah, I'm not absolutely. gonna grasp someone Where up. Where do you put your videos just out of interest? YouTube. YouTube. Facebook, TikTok, okay. everything really. It's well, like, not Twitter cover, yet, but what will that cover? Will that be like your interaction with everyone as well as yeah. the video? Yeah, so it's like okay. we turn up at sites, we show, like here's quite interesting from above, yeah. and then naturally some of these places provoke security to come and talk to us. Okay. He's been very nice. In there was not very nice. You guys have been pretty good. Pretty so good. it's been bad, good, I'll good. Take, I'll take pretty good. <laughs> Out of ten, can I have a score, please? <laughs> I'm not sure if it was for real. No, it was. Um, gentlemen, um, it's up to you if you want to believe me or not. If it was for real, I can't yeah. fault you, mate. I do appreciate but that. But I did feel before you came that they were trying to keep me here because every camera's followed me around the site today. Yeah. So but they were like... So you probably expect that. You probably expect that. I don't know whether who called them. Maybe expected the cops to, like, I don't know, seize the drone or something extreme. No, and they no. thought, right, keep him around, keep him here. But I can't fault you, mate. You've, you've got, you know, you've done well. Thank you. Yeah, you've been polite and friendly and offered me to take me around. So yeah. And again, can't was, fault that. the office still there after the... Um, Police are happy to do their part more as yeah. well, welcome to take you around the site. If it's only the perimeter fence, you know. I'll show you down that bit. It is interesting, it's worth it. All right, have a quick, have yeah. a quick walk, yeah. Cool. Awesome. No, I think we'll probably leave it to it. But if you've got a car or anything, we can take just for your, your YouTube channel. You're fishing, aren't you? No, just for YouTube channel or anything like that. I watch it all the time. Do you? Do you? That's the I watch one I watch it. Do you watch DJ Audits? That's the one I expected to turn up yeah. to. Did you? Yeah. DJ Audits does industrial only now. Industrial sites. Why is that? Yeah. Well, the thing is, if you do like a video a day, yeah. seven videos a week, so to do sites like this, yeah. it's a lot of travelling. Yeah. Whereas industrial, you can go to one estate and bang out like 14 videos in a day, probably. Just do company after company after so company. You make enough money on TikTok. If your videos like a minute long, then obviously you get a certain amount, don't yeah. you? Think? So. And YouTube. This is, I think that's the way forward now, isn't it? It's YouTube and social media. He'll just turn up at a company, film from the outside. They'll come out and either kick off, yeah, I did watch or, or they won't kick off, and they'll, they'll, they'll explain what they do. He'll drone it, he'll walk to the next one. Uh, lorry driver came out and tried to start a fight with him. I've seen that one. Yeah. It's like, why? What's the, what's the point? So I went to Rose Bakery yeah. down in Falmouth and they, were, they, they, they went crazy. They, they didn't get aggressive like, but they were saying things like, that video belongs to Rose because you've taken the video of the site. 
So it's our video. So of course that kind of thing makes it entertaining for people because it's just ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, so of course it is. <laughs> like I said, I've, I've, I've had interactions with you, some of you guys before and it's just like, well, you're, you're doing your thing, you're, you know, trying to try and take a few pictures or whatever videos and yeah, it's not hurting anybody. But people wonder why we do it. Yeah, sometimes. sometimes well, you, why do we do it? Sometimes you audit, <laughs> sometimes you do audit and just make sure people are doing the correct thing, yes. etc. Make sure you know, no one's breaking laws, etc. and stuff like that. But, you know, some people, some people get, do it just for the thrill to see if they get a reaction out of it. Not saying that's what you're doing. See, today you're doing. You get more views, don't you? Oh, 100%, yeah. If it's informative, you generally get views. If it's aggressive or, or drama, you get, get views. More views as well. People make good money of it, I think. This one probably won't get many views. <laughs> it will. Because <laughs> of what it is, I think. Yeah, well, yeah, 100%, yeah. People don't get to see from above that kind of sight every day. Mm. Even a prison's interesting, but this is like one in three, isn't it? So. Yeah, one in three, that's it. That's what I'll be interested to watch it because oh, I've, yeah. I've, I've grown up from, Have you? from this one yeah. to oh, the right. one. So. My dad um, did the plumbing for this. Did he? Yeah. Did. Well, yeah. so if plumbing goes wrong, yeah, it's his dad's fault. I'm confident it's you'll see the video. Fair. Good. The channel channel's big enough. What's the channel called? Yeah. I can't give you that. But I'm going to see it. I'm going to see the channel name, aren't I? <laughs> so I'd rather know what the channel's called so I can watch it. Okay, let's say I give you the channel. Yeah. And this chap, for some reason, doesn't want to be on camera, or the guy in there that kicked off doesn't want to be on camera. Let's face it. They've then got a head start to complaining. I you see what I'm saying? I, I get it. Yeah. I'll you're not going to complain because you're a cop. I'm more as welcome to but, um, walk away quick while you tell the officers if you have to. <laughs> and they technically don't have to tell me. No. I did that once and then I got a complaint on the video before it even went out. Would you like to, so, would you like to put it down on my phone so you can, you can if do you, it? If you watch DJ audits, yeah. Yeah. I'm confident that you'll see the video without looking very far. I'm not on his channel, obviously, oh, yeah, yeah. but yeah, he's got 160k subs. Mm -hmm. I haven't got that many, many but I've got uh, 60k. Not I've got much. enough. Do you do that no audit? Is it Audit in Britain? Yes. That's that yeah. One. yeah. So he does mostly police, yeah, council, yeah. government yeah, kind of things, isn't it? PB. Quite a lot. Has he? Yeah, he's come to our station a few times now. Three, three times I think. Been to London, London Valley Police Station. Which one? London Valley. Oh, I've been there once, London. Yeah. Nice. Three times. I think it's been about three. Two he must have had a bad experience to go, to revisit then. No. I've, some, I mean, sometimes obviously depending on who you get, etc. On the day, but that's it, isn't I know it? there's one particular that was on my team who really knew his name, so he went, "Hello, such and such." Ah. Went, yeah. Right. Fair enough. <laughs> Just walked away. <laughs> that's why we didn't see the video. Can't see that video. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, is that your full name? Or is or AB? What's that? Did you mean somebody shook his hand and said his real name? Yeah. Ah, right, so, never. So, so you literally, because <laughs> they knew him by, by name, so wow. he his full name, and he was like, ah, oh, damn it. Don't wow. I not put that video up anymore. So it's he, annoying when that happens. Yeah. That's why I don't give the channel out, because I reckon my channel's linked to my name. It will be on there somewhere. Okay. There will be a police interaction I've had where I've given a name, and they've linked the channel, mm. and now on, on your record, it will be maybe YouTuber. If it is, it is. I'm not going to. So if I give you the channel, I'm technically giving you my idea, aren't I? Not necessarily, not unless you've given a wrong name. Are you from around there? No. You're not? No. You travel you far? To travel far? Not, not too far away. I class this as local for me today. Yeah. I, I, I to travel out, really far to like... I'm trying to work out your accent and I still can't put a <laughs> thumb on it. Where's your accent from? Was mine? Yes. I'm local, I'm really. Are you? <laughs> oh, right. So I did Falmouth the other day. So I travel far to do videos. Quite far. Here's local compared to there. Okay. Put it that way. Okay. Cornwall's like four or five hours in it, so it's... Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think we'll um, believe you in this chat. Yeah, yeah cheers for being pleasant and polite. And you'll see the video. I'm not going to no, 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 not no, let no. you watch it. You'll, you'll see it. <laughs> so I'll probably end up watching it anyway. So watch all that it, stuff. I think it'll get enough views that somebody that knows you will go, oh, you're on YouTube. And then you'll see it. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, all that. Shake your hands, all right? Yeah, no problem, mate. Good to meet you, mate. And, and you. Good Enjoy to meet you. Your day and, uh, all the best. All the best. All right. Take care, guys. You sure you don't want to seize the drone? No, no, no. You're <laughs> I'm back joking. On, mate. joking. <laughs> Is it down now? I guess it's in the bag, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a tiny one. Oh, good one. Should we go and head up there now? I'll show you There's a bit more. Is it far? Don't want to go too far. Two minutes. You know where that right. was? Just there. All right, mate. So, um, yeah, I've got um, the... I used to have the DJI FPV, sorry. A um, bit of an older one, but I just don't have time to use it as much now. Cause is it the legal limit? It's 120 metres high? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, yeah. They changed it, didn't they? Now it's, now it's every drone around the world, pretty much. So 120 metres. How long have you, um, you been doing this one? What, YouTubing? Yeah. Uh, about a year. So it's, uh, I came to here. So I'll tell you a bit about it. You probably film and you probably don't know. So this yeah, go on. is called the Yellow Brick Road. Okay, right. So that's where our patients used to walk. There was the old entrance building. That's 1863. That was the original entrance building. Across there? Just there, that old building there. 
So how would you get to there though? Would you have to come in another so, gate house? You know the entrance building that you probably went earlier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we, that's where you used to go through. So you'd walk in there, you cross the yellow brick road and yeah, go into the other entrance building. Right. Here, if you can see, this is Berkshire House, okay? So this is one of the patient's wards as well. That's the one that looks, for me, quite menacing and quite, like, I wouldn't want to be in there. I will say <laughs> this, at the time when I was working here, they made it they made it quite nice for the patients, but right. it wasn't fit for purpose in the end. Because on the outside, it looks like a proper prison, doesn't it? Yeah, and that's the reason why we <laughs> wanted to try to get rid of the prison look. Yeah. Because obviously we're not a prison, we're a high security hospital. From above, th that place doesn't look like a prison. And that's what the approach the, the windows are windows, they're not actually barred up. No. From the outside, anyway. Have a look at the kitchen garden. Yeah, yeah. Like, literally about a minute. Well, yeah, that's all right, mate. It's informative. I like to make my videos informative to learn a little bit. Yeah, it's not just about but, reactions and stuff. But with Van Broadmoor, we're trying to get rid of the reputation of it's, <coughs> it's not, definitely not a prison. That's what we're trying to get the reputation away from. We're a high security hospital. We look after um, mentally ill patients that could be the risk to pay, um, public as well. But you do have people, let's say committed murder, who were doing it under insanity. Those people come here, right? So we got patients that's obviously who may have done horrific crimes. Right. They're not. But, the purpose but, you, but those people would come here, would they? Possibility. Yeah. Possibility. So you do house people that commit crimes, basically. But um, I wasn't sure. But this is—you probably noticed this is quite a new wall. So this this never used to be here. Yeah. So the wall actually used to be here. Oh right. Okay. Onwards. Yeah. So this is completely new. And I know you haven't got a wall on this one. You've just got a no. double fence. So maybe yeah. So before 2019, you wouldn't even be able to walk here right. at all. Right. That's that brand new wall there. Ah, and no barbed wire, just a unclimbable fence. Yes, yeah, so no barbed wire. No, no, we don't have barbed wire. No. So like HMP Belmarsh. <laughs> I haven't been there. Haven't there. So um, they will have fully barbed wire. Every prison has the barbed wire on the inside like that, but yeah. you've got just a curved top. Why? Surely it's less secure on oh, paper. I had to be careful what I say because security reasons. Yeah, you of course. Know why? And. Um, it's my job on the line. But I can, course, say, I can say this, that it's very secure. Oh no, it's secure. Yeah. I said on camera, like, there's no barbed wire, but you're not getting over even one of those fences, let alone two, you're not getting over it at yeah. all. No, no, no way. But in terms of like, you know, like category A, B and C prisons. Yep. So cat A has to be defined as impossible to escape from yep. or almost impossible. And cat C is like difficult to escape from. Yep. But the prisoners are unlikely to escape, right? So here, I would have thought if the barbed wire is not there, it would on paper make it less secure. Not okay. physically, because okay. you don't get out of it, but... but so um, why would a Cat C have two fences and yeah. no wall? Cat B, you know, remand prisons and stuff, they have to have a, two fences and the concrete wall. Yeah. Is a person really going to get over the two fences to the wall? They're not, are they? Probably not. So why is it there? But on paper, they have to tick the box and say, this one's got extra security. Okay. Strange, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's, it's just very complicated, isn't it? Different types of yeah. dark prisons and high secure settings. So um, I'm trying to get a few that will make it more interesting. Yeah, this is cool down here. Yeah. So this is the kitchen gardens. Um, when it was all done up nicely, I remember this, it was a beautiful garden. It was amazing. So the patients used to, um, to be careful, you don't need to sleep at Come out and do gardening, do they? Yeah, they used to be able to do gardening. So if we stand just here, you can probably see the long part. Yeah. You know your way around, don't you, mate? Yeah. Been here long enough. I've been here since 2015. Best job ever. Is it? Seriously, I mean it. Really? Yeah. So here, can you see if you stand where I'm standing? So that was the long pathway. Yeah, yeah. So all the patients to go there, do the gardening, grow the vegetables. Um, they used to do brickwork years ago as well. They used to do all So when they're working, they come out and do their thing. Absolutely yeah. beautiful garden. So it's a shame that it's obviously grown up a little bit. But I'm surprised they didn't just extend the fence and include that. Or have you got your own gardens in there? Yeah, yeah, we've got our own, got gardens, your own gardens. Yeah. yeah. So patients oh, can right. do gardening as well. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. Why is it the best job ever, mate? Because I think it's different every day. Yeah. And I know it sounds really cheesy, but it is making a difference. Like we've worked for the NHS. Yeah. For the NHS. And we want to make a difference to people. And if you know for a fact you can go home and you can, you know that you've helped someone out. And that could be staff member as well. Yeah. And patient and yeah, family yeah. members. That's a good feeling. So even if so you, you like helping others. Yeah. So yeah. Even if you today. Yeah. If I feel like that I've helped you out in some way. Yeah, you've helped. Yeah. Here, hundred percent. I know I've done my job. 
That's cool, man. That's, that's just a person some, a lot of us are here, yeah? But I know in some prisons you get people that work there purely because they just love the, uh, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. They love the old bullying aspect of let's, okay. let's take our anger out on people. There are some people who work in prisons who maybe enjoy that part of it. I think in any job Not you here, do, but prisons. No, but in any job you do, including all of them, we're going to have always the bad apple. Yeah, they're everywhere. Um, but I will say this. We don't have that kind of vibe with our staff, with our patients of, I carry the keys, I'm the staff member. Does that make sense? We don't have that type of atmosphere. Right. That's good. So. That's good. Yeah, we're very, we're very like, um, well, how can I explain it in simple terms? We like to just make sure that everyone just has a good day. Simple as that. That's all. Is it the same as a prison regime? Is it like unlock in the morning, locked up at night? Kind of thing, or not all wards, not all no? wards, not all wards. No. Some are, some not. But um, certain wards are different. High dependency, for example. But you don't have anything where they're out all the time. Is it still like a regime of such? Some patients are. Some, are they? Some patients are. Yes. Yeah, oh, okay. But um, it's totally different. To that's where we want to kind of actually. You can maybe help us out to let <laughs> people know that it's definitely not a prison. That's well, everything you say. Obviously, people will see it, good, and yeah. hopefully, they get a good, no, better no. impression. Um, but that's, that's that side of things. But it is, going back to the question you said, why is it a good job? Yeah. It is true, like, sort of out of breath. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> it is a good place and um, every day is different. Even today, I didn't expect this today, but... Have you had any people come along and film? Why not? See, a while back we had it in the old, near the old side. Did you? So, what, but, like auditor, like somebody coming along, like I have, quite a yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, right. once, but not for a long right. time and doing that. So, I haven't seen many videos at, at these places. Have you been to the entrance building at the old one? Near that side? I think I walked past it to get here, didn't yeah. I? You're most welcome to, I'm most welcome to walk with you there. Or... Yeah, we'll walk there. Yeah, should we? And then I'll say my goodbyes to you there. Yeah, of course. Because I'm going to keep walking yeah, no, you, that you way. Do, you do what you've got to do. You do what you've got to do. <coughs> the videos are about half an hour. This one will be longer. Cool. So they're normally about a maximum of 50 minutes. 50 minutes. About that. I think... Um, it shows the viewers as well what we're about here at Broadmoor. Did that make sense? Because would you say sometimes Broadmoor has that grey cloud of when people hear Broadmoor, they think, oh God. But I didn't know much about it, mate, I'll be honest. But, no. but yeah, yeah. Good. The old sort of secure hospital to me, I imagine it's just like a prison, except on paper it's called a hospital. That's what I imagined it as. Okay. At least you now know, <laughs> that, at least you now know that's a high secure hospital. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to show you that before we go past. I'm going to show you that car. The one with the reg. Yeah, of course you can. I didn't want to show you with the police because they seemed all right, but you get the odd copper that you say something like that. Here you go. And they'll, uh, they'll oh, give Oh, yeah, it. no, we know about that one. Yeah, let me, let me show you something else. How's um, your journey getting here, though? Is it car, train? Car, yeah. So that tyre. Yeah, I think it's pretty it's much illegal. Bought. Yeah. I know, because my windows used to be illegal on the front. Oh yeah, they are tinted. I used to have that, and in the end, I had to rip it off. Yeah. Shame, because they look good black. Yeah, nice cars. And then the reg is illegal. Yeah. So when I walked around, I'd just point things out like that. That's all right. I'd never, I'd never like to say, oh, get, yeah, yeah. come over and have a look, because look. you get the wrong copper, and that, that they'll, they'll give someone a ticket for that. I think, I think how I see it is, you're looking out for people, maybe giving that advice, look, maybe you need to look at your car. Had you spoke to me first, I wouldn't have bothered but because I had such a hostile response in there. Okay. I thought, no, I'm going to do my usual audit in the car park. Yeah. Because then if the police would have came and kicked off, I could have gone, well, hold on, guys. Yeah. I'm here for this and I want to show you this car is illegal. Yeah. And then all of a sudden the emphasis would be off me yeah. and onto the car. That's okay. But then you've turned up and been really nice. So I don't want to go and yeah. tell the police about that, but yeah. just showing you that. Maybe because if we go back to when you said about the side, side. being hostile, sorry, hostile is. Um, I think maybe, I want to, would you say that maybe because obviously they're not used to people coming in filming, they're... Yeah, but it's how you deal with it, and okay. part of our videos is, yeah. is how people deal with it. Well, hopefully by the end of today... When yeah, you've turned it round, right, but yeah, when I arrived, I'd only got the hostile part to go by. I think that way's blocked, we go down right. the stairs, yeah. and actually I'll show you a bit more. I'll turn this back on when we... Where oh, are we? we go. No, I think I came... I came past here. Yeah, so this is Jubilee... Wall. So this is where, a while back, the patient's shop used to be. 
Right. So if we go this way, be a bit Yeah, I walked to here and then I couldn't get through here, so I went down there. Yeah. That's right. Here. <coughs> no, that was it. I came to here. And there's a fence. That's the fence just there blocking. Yeah. Yeah. So you probably see barbed wire. Yeah, this is the part that looked quite menacing around here. Yes. So that wasn't there when we was operating at Broadway. Oh, was it not? We just had it there because obviously we just got it there for a little bit of security purposes, right? What, to stop people going in? Yeah. Really? So this was the old reception. It's a shame that it's obviously boarded up now. So the old reception, they're the one that you went into. So this wasn't boarded up before? No. Right. So the reception area that you went to, yeah. the main gate, this was here. So you used to go through here and then you used to be able to talk to the reception. I did think it looked quite ugly. So that's just there for, for now? Yeah. Here. Right. Um, it's open as well. So this is the old fearful lock. So your keys won't get us in there? No, no. <laughs> no, we don't carry keys outside of the Of course. Yeah. Of course you don't. So that's the old entrance. This is, no, sorry, the like medium entrance, if that makes sense. So the original that you yeah. saw at the car park, that was 1863. Yeah. And obviously you've got this one here. And we left this hospital in 2019 to go to the new site. Right. If that makes sense. So this is kind of the entrance building where the patients used to go in as well. This is where I first walked up to and I thought it was closed. Which yeah, it is. No, yeah. A lot of people get confused. So it's... it's it's a different, it's just completely different now. The, the new site, what we've got, as you have you seen, is it's more approachable, it's nicer. I think it's more friendly approach, if that makes sense. Same stuff, more or less. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. But it's good. I'm wondering if people try and get in here because No, we still got all security stuff and all that in here. So the, the camera system's still linked up? Yeah, yeah, everything, it? everything's still live here. Um, so if I if I climbed in, we'll that you know, you know about it, yeah. We'll know about it very, very quickly. Um, even if we don't we're not in there if as much like patience wise we still we still I suppose it's quite hard to get in because it's still as high security as, as it was before yeah, yeah so yeah. it's as hard to get in as it is to get out yeah yeah so you can't just climb in with a normal ladder probably because you can have an issue I'd say yeah 100 percent 100 percent it's quite high that wall yeah. and then obviously you've got the uh, original car park here so have you probably seen the old graveyard here as well I didn't see the graveyard well I, w I walked up this road mate so this is uh this is a nice view, maybe, as well. It's a nice area it's set in. Lovely. Trees and Close stuff around here. Lovely. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. So you've got so forest as well. That's what I meant from the drone. You could see all the forest around the area. Yeah. Quite nice. Yeah. So, that's see, when somebody turns up with a camera, yep. doing YouTube videos, well, if you can the, see. The, okay. this is how you... Uh, <laughs> this is how you engage. That's it. <laughs> um, right. Your boss must have been like, there's a YouTuber, go and do your best. <laughs> no, actually, my boss, you know the gentleman who came out? That was my boss. Oh, was it? Um, so, the angel there. So, as you probably see, absolutely beautiful piece. So, that represents, obviously, unfortunately, the deceased that's um, buried all here. How are they? I don't know how many. But what, from inside? Yeah. Yeah, probably staff as well. Um, oh, well. A lot of history to it, even to the point of Richard Dad. So, if you Google Richard Dad. Yeah. There's a lot of history with him. Famous artist who used to be here as a patient. Oh, well. Um, absolutely good read up. Really? Well. So if, for your viewers as well, type in Richard Dad and it'll give you a lot of history of Broadmoor. Wow. So, but obviously any other questions? No, that's good, mate. Are you happy? Yeah. Um, obviously. Been very informative. That's all right. Do you know how to get around here, by the way? I don't need yeah, to yeah, yeah. get lost or anything like that. No, I'm, I'm, I'm on, down on the estate. Yeah. Um, obviously, I'll let you do what you've got to do. I'm finished, mate. Cool. I'll, I'm I'll, I'll be hand. done with you, and then I'll just crack on to my next yeah. site today. Um, yeah, I yeah. Hope, I hope you have a good day. And also, with that vehicle, I know who they are. Um, oh. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I am, I'm going to be honest. Um, I'll talk to the person to be like, look, your tyre is illegal. You need to get that sorted out and your number plate. So I'll talk to him. So thank you for highlighting that as well. It's like not me. Like, if you get another order to come. Yeah. Might be a different approach. Well, they might just report it. Yeah. You know, like Cycling Mikey, have you seen him? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. <laughs> he, he reports people on the phone, right? Yeah. So he'll, he'll ride alongside them on the bike. Yeah. And they'll be like texting. Yeah. And he'll report them. And he's famous for it. I'll get it though. If you're driving yeah. on the phone. No, but sometimes they're, they're, they're stuck in traffic in London. They look at the phone, they put it back. Yeah. You still get some for it. What's your thoughts on that? I, no, I, I do think that if the vehicle is handbrake on and stationary. It's fine. I, personally, there's no danger at that point. No. But I think once, once you're engaged with the vehicle, once yeah. handbrake's off, then it should come down to that, I think. Yeah. If you're parked. It's totally different. I think, yeah, I don't think it should be, uh, 
I do feel like sometimes you do have to be careful now, like what you do and what you say, because obviously I think everywhere. You do, don't you? Yeah, you do. But I think I always say this: if you um, if you do anything by the book, you've got nothing to worry about. So that's affected me, cycling, Mikey, and people like that. Now when I'm checking my phone in my car, I'm quite paranoid that someone's yeah. going to come and get me. But has that helped you then, technically? That's what I'm saying. That, yeah. So it's made me do it less. So that maybe that's a good impact. Because my windows were black like his. Now the side ones are obviously yeah. see-through. So I'm quite aware that people can see into my car easily. Yeah. No, it's been brilliant. It's been brilliant. Well, again, I'm going to let you be. Yeah, thanks um, for your time, mate. No, and again, apologies if you felt the approach at first was a bit uneasy, but hopefully now we're kind of convinced. Yeah, it's all good, man. Good. Good man. Hope you enjoy All the video. Best. Keep safe and enjoy the view. Thanks, man. Yeah. Enjoy your day. You, Cheers. All right, guys, we're leaving Broadmoor. What an interesting visit today. It went from hostile to drone to a bit more hostile to him coming out and being overly friendly and nice and I thought yeah he's keeping me here for the cops lo and behold police turn up just after but then in all fairness to him he's uh, given me some of his time and explained a bit about the place and uh, I hope the viewer I hope you guys have learnt a lot from that it's quite quite interesting to hear from him and he's worked here probably what eight years so he knows what's what so yeah there we go Share, like and subscribe guys, it really helps. See you soon.